My name is Ruby Yang. I'm the director of the documentary My Voice, My Life. Actually, the um, uh, social enterprise um, is uh, called Alpers H Foundation. Uh, came to me with this um, concept idea. The concept is to use um, Band 3 student and also school from the visual impaired uh, school and Beniser and form a music, uh, do a musical. Uh, that was the, about the beginning of the uh, 2013. Um, the um, uh, CEO, Ada Ho, came to me and said, G they want to um, do a documentary on the, the making of the musical. And I said, that's a great idea. I was very touched by the, their performance. And, um, and the, actually the uh, musical director, it's the first time they rehearsed with, with them as well. And they were so amazed by the, the conviction they have, the, the pure, the purity of the, the song, that they're singing. So, um, and then it took me about a week and a half. I thought about it, I said, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do the film. In this film, um, because uh, they went through the audition, and actually the um, a principal uh, recommends students that can participate in the musical. So actually the school already went through a selection process. I feel very surprised because I didn't think I could be a band free and so for me to select would be the 30 that got into the musical. And then um, of course the Ambenese uh, student, the Wushu Impair student, um, are very, for me the, it's a big part of the film. And then I saw Jason Abo, uh, um, his principal, actually Carol Kwong, uh, uh, already said in the film that she really wants Jason to be in the film or in the uh, musical. So to help him to, in her words, eliminate some bad habits. This is the my voice, my life is the, of course, the singing, and singing is the musical and it's about their own life, and so is my voice, my life. And I think in the Chinese title, uh, it's more significant in the Hong Kong society. Um, and because when people look down upon you, and the parents always, always tell you to zhang hei, it's like you do something better so that people will not look down upon you. And that's the significance of the Chinese title. Uh, very well received by educators and um, cultural leaders, yes, and uh, even some of the cultural uh, politicians, they endorse the film. Um, that's not expected. That's not how, you know, the intention of the film was to capture these, these young people for, you know, five, six months and see how it witnessed their, their growth. In the first screening, one principal asked, said, is this, this film scripted? I said, no, of course it's not scripted. Everything is, is just, we, we're able to capture, uh, you know, where we're there. There are some people saying, well, 
uh, film is a bit mainstream, and some of my friends say, "Oh, this is so mainstream for my, you know, the film that I make is always edgy, and this one is uh, so cheerful." That's what the term said. Yes, actually, uh, very much. I work with the uh, Ministry of Health with the the HIV AIDS, you know, the the work that uh, they would censor and they would uh, they have all all the editorial control, which I have no problem with that. And then I have the work that's mainly from for outside of China that it would not, I don't think it would be air in China. So we did the Blood of Yingzhou District. But the intention of the films are not to shame the government. It's to tell the truth. It's a humanity story. It's about stigma. I think this, as of now, the film is be, still being talked about because um, of the AIDS issue. I don't want to have any polarization of a one thing. One thing is, uh, you know, it's anti-Chinese or uh, anti mainly Chinese or something to do with uh, pro-China. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm more in the middle. Like uh, myself, I'm from Hong Kong. I work in China. I work in here in the U.S. I, I see the, the sense of, you know, uh, objectivity and the sense of identity problem. I want to have that kind of view to make film in China. In Hong Kong now it's just they want to be a comfort zone in their own, protecting their own. own they call them, them own without the curiosity of learning more from the others. I think that's important. I think the theme of identity and the theme of um, inclusion. Very much the last film, My Voice, My Life, is about inclusion, being included. So that in, that's talk, you can talk about, you know, not the stigma of a band three student, you can talk about including visual impaired or disability in, into your society. That's, that theme is just quite big, you know, so.